Okay, Jace Tunnel here. Um, I got a cool a couple things I found today on the beach when I was beach combing. Um, you've probably see, seen these, uh, and you'll know what they are. Pin shells is the name of them. Um, but I've got two different species here. So this is the more common one that we find, at least along here in Texas. Uh, I mean, we can find bunches of these you know they'll be uh, buried into the sand like this now not usually when you find them but when they're living uh, and then storms and waves and stuff uh, you know get them pulled out of the sediment that they're at and then they wash up and I have found them where they're alive before this one's dead most of the time they're dead when you find them but this one's called a sawtooth pin shell and the reason it has that name is because um, the outside of it it looks like a, a saw blade like a uh, real sharp uh, pointy uh, but they're real pretty uh, on the inside of them I don't know if you can see this on the inside of them but it's got like this when you get the Sun just right it's like this purple looking shell and they're they're actually sought after uh, people can make different jewelry out of them um, and uh, different kind of trinkets and things like that. So people really like these. Not only that, they do produce a pearl. Uh, and so they've got a little pearl in there. People like pearls. And then finally, and I know that y'all wanted to know, can we eat them, right? Yes, people do eat these. And so the sawtooth uh, people can eat. And this one I noticed, uh, it actually has a little hole right here where that's probably how it died. It's a beveled hole, which means it was probably a, um, a moon snail that got it. Uh, sea stars also uh, eat pin shells. So, you know, that could be another uh, way that it had died. But that little hole right there um, tells me that it, it, it was definitely eaten by something. And could have been like a, a snail or something. But uh, these are the two different ones um, that you, we, in this one, I don't see that often. Um, uh, this one, you know, it doesn't have the sawtooth spines on it. It's got more like these uh, ribs that are on the outside of it. Uh, real neat. But anyway, uh, I thought y'all might like to know the difference between the two pin shells that you might find washing up here on the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, with that, I guess we'll talk to you next time. Thanks. Bye.